What's up everybody? This is Like It's 1985 and this is a look at the 2012 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. This is the Star Wars Carbonite Chamber and uh, as you can see the actual packaging is designed to represent the Carbonite freezing chamber that we see uh, Han Solo about to be frozen in Carbonite in The Empire Strikes Back. So that's the idea behind the design of the packaging. So this set includes seven figures and basically there's one figure per movie and there's also kind of a bonus figure which I will get into later. But the way that Hasbro has arranged this on the front here, it says Star Wars Episode One, of course, The Phantom Menace, and then they've chosen a character from that movie to be represented in a figure form. In this case it is Jar Jar Binks. And down below you actually see a little uh, a montage of the characters that appear in that particular movie. And I will be actually taking the individual cards out and showing you the front closer as well as the figure inside the bubble as well as the back. I won't be taking the figures out but I will be showing you the uh, card and the figure up close. Uh, these individual cards do actually come out of the uh, packaging here. So moving on, uh, next uh, panel here, Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. And the figure they chose for this, uh, to represent this movie, is the Clone Trooper Lieutenant. And you can see down below pictures or characters from that particular movie. Next up, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. And they chose the Shot Trooper. Uh, to represent this particular movie. And here is the uh, list, or not list, but uh, pictures of the characters, uh, some of the characters from that movie. And uh, we move on to episode four, A New Hope. In this particular case, we have a sand trooper representing that particular movie. Empire Strikes Back here on the fifth side or fifth panel. In this case we have Princess Leia. And finally on the sixth side we have episode six, Return of the Jedi. In this case we have Darth Vader representing that particular movie. Now, the way that this uh, package opens is you lift up the lid here, and inside you can see there in the center is the seventh figure I mentioned, and this whole inner portion of the packaging comes out, and uh, the actual uh, cards will slot into each of these individual uh, sides of this packaging. And what you can actually do is take some other figures, like if you have a carded figure you want to display, uh, it doesn't really necessarily have to be from that particular movie. It can just be uh, any character or any figure you want. And you can actually have your own sort of custom display. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's have a closer look at these figures. I do want to remind you that I'm not actually going to be taking the figures outside of the packaging, but we can still take a close look at the figures and it'll give you a good idea of what you actually get in this set. Starting off with the figure representing episode one, Jar Jar Binks. And I have to say, even though I don't like the character, the sculpt on this particular figure is very nice. And you can see there the accessories the figure comes with. Again, nice sculpting on that figure. On the back, fairly basic. Uh, you have a picture of the figure here and this information here is the same on all six of these card backs. It just tells you some generic information about this and down below you have a look at the five other figures from this particular exclusive set. So moving on we take a look at the second figure representing episode two we have the Clone Trooper Lieutenant. On the 
back again same text that was on the other uh, card back from episode 3 you got the shock trooper and the back and based on that picture there it appears that the actual helmet uh, is removable moving on to episode four got the sand trooper there's an accessory there not sure what that is and I don't know if you can tell from the video but there this being a sand trooper the actual color of the plastic is I guess you call it weathered to, to make the actual white appear like it has dirt and grime and sand on the actual armor so that's pretty cool Moving on to episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back, and Princess Leia. And finally, Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, Darth Vader, and uh, hopefully you can see this on camera or on the video, but his helmet actually is a uh, smoky translucent plastic. Looks like that figure comes with a extra hand and if you notice the on the figure in package the uh, right hand is actually cut off or made to look like it was cut off and the back of the package now there are as I mentioned before there are seven figures and this is the one this is pretty much this figure is the one reason why I got this set and the figure is dun, da, 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 Jar Jar Binks in Carbonite <laughs> that is awesome it's a pretty big uh, piece of plastic as you can see there the bubble is uh, extra big there you can see and you can see the nice detail in that figure zero articulation but very nice sculpt and when I say zero articulation of course I'm joking because obviously there's no articulation for this you can see his little toes sticking out there ah, that's really cool so now that we've looked at the figures up close I do want to make a comment about the selection of characters or figures that Hasbro chose to represent each movie starting off with episode one Yes, Jar Jar Binks is a reasonable figure to include because he was so prominent in that particular movie. However, since we get the Jar Jar Binks and Carbonite, I don't know if that was the best selection. I would have liked to see a Darth Maul, a Qui-Gon Jinn figure, or even a young Anakin. But uh, as it is, it's all right. Um, but like I say, it's we've already got the Jar Jar Binks and Carbonite so perhaps a better character would have been uh, more appropriate for that selection. Uh, moving on to episode 2 and the figure representing the uh, episode 2 movie. Uh, everybody likes clones but I think they should have included like a Mace Windu figure maybe a Yoda figure instead of just a clone trooper. I love my clones but I think to be more representative of the movie 
uh, you could actually include, or the or Hasbro should have included a figure uh, of more prominence, uh, such as Yoda or Mace Windu. Again, same thing with Episode 3 uh, character or figure selection. Uh, Shock Trooper is cool, but I would have liked to see a General Grievous or another character representing this particular movie. Star Wars Episode 4. Uh, here, I would have liked to seen the uh, Luke Skywalker uh, in the uh, Tatooine outfit or costume. Uh, that would have been more appropriate, I think. Or even the uh, older Ben Kenobi uh, figure would have been nice. No real complaints about Empire Strikes Back. Uh, Princess Leia, as, you can, as we talked about before, and as you can see, is the figure representing that particular movie. And finally, Return of the Jedi with Darth Vader. So, overall, the uh, set is pretty good. Like I say, the actual characters... Uh, or rather figures representing each movie could have been better. Uh, some of the clones I think could have been replaced with more specific characters to that particular movie. But I am really stoked about one thing about this this set and that is of course this figure, the Jar Jar Binks and Carbonite. I mean that is freaking awesome and I never I think like a lot of people I never really liked Jar Jar Binks as a character. It was a, He was an annoying character uh, at least in the in the later movies, they kind of gave him a smaller role, a background role, and uh, less talking, which was good. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for watching. This has been my look at the 2012 San Diego Comic Con exclusive. This is the Star Wars Vintage Carbonite Chamber. Thanks for watching.